Hi guys, I'm back. So I'm going to do this look right now and I already primed my eye with Paint Spot Paints Relay over the lids and over the brow bone. And the first step that I'm going to do that I usually do last is highlight my brow bone. And the eyeshadow that I will use for that is called Hush Frost. It's beige the tint of pink. And I'm going to take my 252 brush that I bought for the brow bone and dip the color on there. Tap off the axis and go on my eyelids and on my brow bone. Just get that color everywhere. Okay, once you have done that, take your 239 brush. Yes, I am going to use this for my lid. I'm going to give it a shot because I heard if you use the pencil brush instead of the 239 for the lid, um, you're just going to end up taking the color off. So I took the person's advice. So for the lid, I'm going to take Orp Satin. This is what it looks like. It's like a beige color. And dip the 239 brush in there and place that color onto the lid. Just tap it. Once you have got that color on your lid, take a 217 brush, which already has color on it obviously because I have already done my right eye. You take Saddle, which is a matte brown eyeshadow, and yeah, you get the color onto the brush and put this on the crease of your eye. window wiping. And just do what you prefer, how much color you prefer on your eye. I'm going to make it more intense just so you guys can see because I'm doing a video. But if you're going for like a day kind of look, obviously this is a to school look, you want to not make it so in your face. Um, then you take the 224 brush and blend the color out. Do small circles. Make sure to not get the color, you know, smudge the color out. You have to blend it in. Well, blend it until you feel the color is blended enough. Okay, once you have done that step, you take pencil brush and you dip it into the same brown mat that I've dipped my 217 in. And do your lash line underneath your eye. And this color is so light that it is okay. Um, it's You're not going to do any mistakes with this color. You're not going to have a fallout. It's a very forgiving color.
Once you have done that, you can go on to your eyeliner. The eyeliner that I'm going to use is the Max Liquid Eyeliner. And you can either do the top uh, lid near the lash line or the bottom one. Either way, I'll do the bottom one first because I find that one easier. And you don't even have to do this, this is just because I want to right now, but I usually don't do the step for school. I just get some, you know, mascara and that's about all. Okay, I guess it's enough for the bottom lashes. Lash line, water line. Um, you take... Um, I take a Prep and Prime conditioner by MAC, Prep and Prime, and this just makes your eyelashes more shiny, more, yeah, shiny, once you put the mascara on. some on the bottom lashes, but I don't really like to. Okay, now you take your mascara, any mascara you would like to use. I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent, the one that I made a review on recently, my favorite product. bottom lashes okay so once you have done that eye you can do some fun stuff like you can put some mineralized skin finish on your face this is the soft and gentle one it's like a skin color and it has a little bit of shine it adds a little bit of something. You can add some blush. I will use the Blush Baby blush. It's this color. It's like a plumpy color. Find the apples of your cheeks. Okay, and you can use any lip gloss you would like to use. I'm going to be using the Petting Pink Tinted Lip Conditioner by MAC, which looks like this. My lips are extremely, like, chapped right now. It's not even funny. And I'm getting, like, instead of colds, I'm getting cold sores on my lips. And it's not a pretty sight. Okay, this is the look that I do for school, minus the eyeliner sometimes, but today I've just decided to add that in, and I hope you like it, and 
Yeah, I will see you soon. Bye.